What is up you guys, Toys Craze here doing another action figure review. In today's video we have the McDonald's exclusive, the Amazing Spider-Man light up action figure. If you guys do want to get this figure, you can do so in the link below. But anyways, let's get right into it. A close up look at it. Honestly, this is probably the best McDonald's toy I've ever seen, honestly. <laughs> like... Usually you can tell they don't make it great quality, but like it, it, it look definitely looks nice. I'm yeah, but basically what it would do is if you uh tap and hold this button, basically you hold it and the eyes would light up. But my bad I've got I got these a long time ago. Uh so my battery obviously ran out. But actually for a McDonald's toy, it's not that bad. Like you can see like the detail. Like they didn't put they it wasn't actually that bad, not gonna lie. And it does look pretty awesome. And probably the this is probably the only Amazing Spider-Man action figure or Andrew Garfield action figure I really have. And honestly, I'm planning on getting more uh, soon. But for now, this is what I'm stuck with. So not bad, definitely. That spider logo, I'm really, really liking that. It definitely came out pretty nicely. And as you can see, like the webs, the webs, they could have been painted a little bit better. But I think it looks a lot like... The, yeah, like the texture, it feel it feels really good. It feels like, uh, it definitely has nice texture to it. In terms of the paint, the paint is actually not even bad. Like, I really like the blue paint they use in this figure. Like, just made it solid blue, and honestly, it's not too bad. Articulation-wise, the arms can move all around. And I think that's pretty much it. The head can't move at all. It's literally glued onto the body. The knees can't move or anything. Uh, the feet can't move or anything, or uh, the hips can't move, the torso can't move. Basically, the only part that you would actually move for this figure is, or with this figure, is the arms. So you can only move them, like, up, all around, or down. So that's basically, that's basically, it's pretty basic. Uh, sadly, I kind of think this had a lot of potential, but it's probably, I mean, it's a McDonald's toy. Obviously, it's not going to be the most high-quality but it's actually not too bad. Like, I surprisingly, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. But let's just take a side-by-side -side comparison of The Amazing Spider-Man to The Amazing Spider-Man in the movie. So, I mean, the likeness, it kind of does look... I mean, the eyes, they made it a little bit big, though. And they could have painted it a little bit better. But anyways, I think they could have done a little bit better on the suit. But I think it's a pretty nice Spider-Man action figure. Definitely not bad, and it probably will stand pretty easily, which is nice. It'll, it, yeah, it'll stand really easily, so you guys can just literally put this for display pretty easily, so no more, like, uh, no really, like, hard work or putting this up or anything. So that's nice about it, but anyways, I think it was pretty basic, and I kind of wish it came a little bit more. You can actually get this on Amazon through the link below, which is kind of interesting because, um... These toys are from, like, years ago, and people actually save these figures and have them. So if you guys do want to grab this figure, you guys can do so through the link below. But I don't think there's anything really I can say about this figure anymore. So that'll be it for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did find this review helpful, be sure to slap the subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification button so you do not miss another video. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.